You know, there is a very big problem with the Mueller report and Attorney General William Barr's letter that he sent to uh, Congress in lieu of the Mueller report. He gives him this letter and he says, there was no collusion. The report couldn't find anything. It's done. It's over. We're not prosecuting him on obstruction of justice. Game over on the Mueller report. Trump, even though it says literally on the front, he's not exonerated. We're going to declare he's exonerated. And that is what the administration ran with, whether it's true or not. That's what media outlets reported. Even left wing media outlets reported that that there's no collusion, no obstruction, nothing. Trump is cleared essentially. Vindicated though not exonerated. The 48 hours after this uh, letter came out, or I guess technically the Mueller report was delivered to Barr. The 48 hours after that, that was it. That was when the argument was won or lost. And unfortunately the Trump administration won it. Now, depending on when you're watching this, I don't know, maybe the Mueller report has already been released. Maybe the whole thing's been released. Maybe snippets have been released, but if it's snippets, you can guarantee it's only going to be snippets that benefit Donald Trump and not the ones that explain a lot of other potential criminality that he did, but we don't know. Short of having that full report delivered to the public, we're not going to know. And that's what's so damaging about this because Trump has already won the war of words. He has already won the framing. He has already won the phrasing. And that is going to be a huge boost for him in 2020. Just last week, reports were were surfacing saying that Donald Trump planned on using the Mueller investigation results as part of his 2020 campaign regardless of whether or not they exonerated him or didn't, he was going to either play the victim or play the victor. And now he's going to be playing the victor. And it's going to be very hard for Democrats to counter that narrative. Here's what's going to happen. Trump is going to go out there to the public. He's going to tell you that the Democrats all started by the dossier funded by a crooked Hillary Clinton. Um, the Democrats wasted 22 months of your life. They, wasted millions of dollars, which isn't true. This thing made a lot more money than it cost. It was a witch hunt. The results prove it. And that he never did anything wrong and that the Democrats are just bitter because Hillary Clinton didn't win president. And you're going to get some more moderate people who look at that and say, you know what? I think he's right. I mean, the report did say he was cleared. Even if we get the full report and it doesn't say what William Barr told us, it said the battle has been lost. Think about it this way. If you disagree with me, James Comey, October 2016, a week before the 2016 election came out and did a press conference and said, we are reopening this investigation involving Hillary Clinton, except the investigation didn't involve Hillary Clinton, not the one that he was reopening. But the way he framed it, in spite of all the media coverage after it, where we tried to explain it's not actually about Hillary Clinton, damage was done. Nobody cared about the truth. And that's why I'm saying that at this point, yes, we need the Mueller report, but people's minds are made up. And you can shove that report in their face if you ever get your hands on it and say, look, he's lying. See right here, right here, right here. And maybe a handful of them will say, oh, oh, you're right. Okay. Interesting. Wow. I was wrong. He was wrong, but that's not going to happen. And that's, what's so terrifying about this. There is a good chance that Robert Mueller just handed Donald Trump the 2020 election. There is a little bit of hope. And the hope is this so far, nearly all of the Democrats who are currently running for president for 2020 are out there talking about issues. Some of them are talking about how we need to be nice to one another and live in a world of sunshine and rainbows. And that's probably not going to work out very well. But the ones out there saying we need to do A, B, and C, here's how we do it. One, two, three. Those people have a chance. The people who are rising above the fray, staying out of the will they, won't they with impeachment talks. Those are the ones who have a real chance. 
those who go out there and talk policy and say, forget the investigations, they don't even matter. What matters is that you can't afford your health care. What matters is that you've got $40,000 of student loan debt with no way to pay it off because the jobs being created in this country are minimum wage, part-time employment. Running on the issues is the Democrats only plan and option and path to victory in 2020. If they want to go on the defensive and say, whoa, 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 we had to spend 22 months on this investigation. You've already lost. You've already lost at that point. The phrasing and the framing, that argument has already been won. The report can come out right now tomorrow, two days ago, the administration won the war of framing and it would be a fool's errand to jump in and try to change it, what's already happened. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.